So here's chapter 8 of MYP5 Unit 1. We've previously revised the rules of powers or indices, and then we looked at logarithms. A logarithm was just another way round of writing a power relationship. We talked about um, the log of a number being the power to which you raise the base to get the number, um, which expressed like that is a little bit hard to get a grasp on, but then when you see a few examples of it, it kind of makes more sense. Um, so a lot of calculators only have a button that has uh, log base 10. So it can tell you if 10 to the power of something equals a number that you're given, then it can tell you what that power is. Um, but usually you want to solve problems using other bases than just 10. Now more modern calculators can do logs with other bases, but you should know the rules of logarithms and how to manipulate logarithmic and power equations using the rules uh, in order to get answers analytically and not just rely on your calculator to give you the answer without understanding it. So one of the rules we're going to use a lot is um, uh, log of m to the power of k equals k log m. That is the most useful thing for changing the base of a problem. So if we've got something like uh, 3 to the power of x is 243 and we want to find out what x is, then uh, that rule is going to be useful in solving a problem that's 3 to the power of x rather than 10 to the power of x. So here's a question. Um, find x if 8 to the power of x is 24. Now a common mistake that a lot of people make is to look at that and say 3 because they think 8 times 3 is 24. But uh, remember it's not 8 times 3, it's 8 to the power of 3. So 8 to the power of something equals 24. So this is uh, how we do it. 8 to the power of x equals 24. I can take logarithms of both sides. Remember an equation is like a balance, so as long as I do exactly the same thing to both sides, um, then it will still balance. So in this case, what I'm doing to both sides is taking logarithms. So the log of 8 to the power of x is equal to the log of 24. Now this thing here on the left, the log of 8 to the power of x, I can use the rule that says that x can be taken to the front. Well, now that I know that x times something, log 8 in this case, is equal to something else, uh, log 24 in this case, then all I need to do is divide both sides to get the x on its own. So I'm dividing both sides by the log of 8 to get that x equals the log of 24 over the log of 8. Now, the useful thing about that is um, that log can be in any base. So I can just say when I took logs of both sides that I took base 10 logs of both sides. So on my calculator, I can just punch that in um, and get the base 10 log of 24 divided by the base 10 log of 8. And it all works out to be about 1.528. So x is about 1.528, or in other words, uh, 8 to the power of about 1.528 is equal to 24. So the last bit here I said, verify that your answer is correct by calculating 8 to the power of your answer. So if you do that on your calculator, 8 to the power of 1.528, you should get, well, about 24. Obviously, that number's been rounded, so it won't be exactly 24, but you'll see that it's near. So in class we did some practice, um, so it was the extended book, page 407, exercise 18G.3. Answers in the back and come and see me if you're not getting the answers that are published in the back of the book.